Hey, SRF here with mission number three from the Splinter Cell Conviction game. This is Price Airfield. And I was very kind to you guys, and I cut out this super long cinematic scene uh, that I complained so much about in the last video. Um, so we're cutting right to the chase here. Um, yes, it's good to take that guy out hand to hand so you can mark those two guys Grim, whenever you can take a guy out uh, with hand to hand combat do it because uh, it's nice to save up that uh, that execute feature which definitely comes in handy uh, so in this mission we're basically trying to get off the airbase which is surprisingly easy Unlike the next mission, which is a huge pain in the ass. But we'll get to that at, in about a week or so. Alright, you probably don't have to kill that guy. I just did it out of habit. But these two guys, I have to take those guys out. I don't know if there's another way to do it, but they're standing right where I need to be right here Grim, I've taken care of the chopper now I need to take down the field all right plan C4 and now we need those two guys to go away from the door so I just shoot that light to uh, let them know that I'm somewhere in this building and get them moving basically want them to head away from this door which is exactly what they do. Sheep. Alright, now we want to go pick up our uh, modded weapon here. Pick it up. There we go. And we head into the sort of a barracks area, I guess. Attention all personnel. The mess hall is now uh, You can go left. I went on the left side once, but uh, Kind of like going on this side. Get to use more, uh, more combat skills. Now, I should mention right here, when you take out this guy, you have to listen because there's a dude outside that front door, and if he goes, hmm, you can actually hear him, uh, he's going to come in and he'll see you sneaking out this window. So if you hear him say, hmm, just duck back behind the door and you can kill him when he walks through the door. But if you don't hear the hmm, just do exactly like I did. Probably didn't need to kill those guys either. I just find it fun to use that execute. And we definitely had to take that guy out hand to hand because we need it for these three. So target these three guys in here, two and three, and execute. Simple. Now we go in and disrupt the power. Easy enough. Now out the window and through the gate. Nice job. Now, my car is parked just outside the gate off the main wall. And now we use a little more uh, stealth in this area. And we just work our way over to the, uh, I guess it's the satellite we're going to disrupt at this point. So they don't track us from the air. Now you don't have to jump over this wall. I just find it a little easier. See, because there's usually only one guy. See that guy in the back there in this area. So it's easy to just hop that uh, little wall and then take this guy out. Boom. Now you see that big flashing satellite dish? That's where we're going. Now in this recording, this is the only time I saw this guy come back here, so I figured I might as well kill him anyway. 
And now be careful when you disrupt this because, well, you'll see in a second. There's that one guard over there, and then there's another guard that shows up. Which I'm not exactly see there. And he looks right at us, but he's friggin' oblivious, so we take advantage of it and just sort of sneak off. Now this is the most direct route to our next objective. And then I just pop these lights out. And now you can move around without, uh, without worrying about them spotting you. Unless you actually run into one of them. Just be a little careful here. And you should be able to sneak right out. We got a couple warnings there, but don't worry about them. Unless you uh, start getting hit in the ass with bullets, then don't even worry about it. Now this part, I haven't figured out a way to do this part without killing people. So pretty much do this part however you want. Take them all out, take a couple out, whatever it takes. And this one is kind of random. The, the guys, um, they walk different paths every time it resets, so you're never quite sure where they're going to be. <clears throat> but the main thing to do is, for me anyway, is to take out the guys as close to this gate as possible. And there's a dude in that guard shack as well, and you want to take him out as well. And I just targeted random people at this point. And I missed this one guy here. So we're just gonna sneak up on him. Boom. And now we uh, unlock the gate. Well, actually, we lock the gate, I suppose. Once you see the bars come up. And now all you gotta do is run out the door. You can stick around here and kill the rest of those guys if you want, but I don't really see the point. Alright. That's it. Now he calls his friend for help. Oh, after he blows up the place. Boom. Alright. Well, that's another mission down. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, SRF here with mission number three from the Hitman. Whoops, fuck.